What's up guys, this is Andrew the At Home Marketer and in today's video we'll be going over Plutio and revealing if it is the best project management software in 2020. Now before we jump into the dashboard here for Plutio, uh, you should know that it is much more than just a project management system. Uh, it does allow for project management uh, as well as task tracking, but it also offers invoice creation, contract creation, proposal creation, and as a CRM tool, uh, and it integrates seamlessly with your Google Calendar. So although it may not be the best project management software on the market, uh, there are a ton of other alternatives such as Asana, Monday.com, uh, even Trello would work specifically for task management. Uh, this is much more than that. It's an all-in-one solution for your small business or freelance gig, uh, and it allows you to organize everything in one place. Just to jump into some of the features here, uh, Plutio offers a wide array of features, as you can see when you go to their homepage and click on Features. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see a ton of different things that Plutio is capable of doing. Uh, I'll just cover a couple here. Uh, so in general, uh, it does offer multiple workspaces. So if you have multiple brands or projects that you are working on, you can create separate workspaces for each of those. Uh, it does allow for team members as well. So you can invite people into your workspace uh, either as a client or as a user, as a team member. Um, so that is great for if you're working with a team or working directly with clients. The clients can see how you are progressing with your tasks and projects. Uh, they can have some peace of mind uh, as well as team members can go in and collaborate on the project uh, and get what they need to get done. Jumping over here to branding, uh, it does offer a custom domain name when you sign up for your account. So it will say your custom name, uh, .plutio.com. Uh, so that is a nice little feature there. Uh, and then you can also set up a custom email address and upload your logo into the workspace uh, so that it is very branded and the clients get a good feel for it when they are in um, with you. Uh, so in terms of the actual task management, uh, it allows for several things, custom fields, colored tags, checklists, tasks. There's several templates for tasks. So uh, if you are trying to figure out the best way of setting it up, uh, they do have tasks that you can save as templates, uh, as well as descriptions, comments, all your standard stuff that you see with most task management. Uh, and then it does hook up to your calendar as well, which I will show you later on. So when you create a new task and you set a start and end date, it will appear on your cal calendar automatically in the dashboard. Jumping down here to time tracking, this is just a nice little feature that allows you to uh, log how much time is you are spending on a task. So you can either do it automatically and it will track the time instantly, or you can manually log it if you forget. I know I forget all the time, so I usually go in and manually log it. Uh, there are time sheets, so if you're doing something that is billable by the hour, you can track that as well within here. Jumping down here to projects, uh, projects again offers a very clean dashboard for you to organize all of the tasks within the project. Uh, the hierarchy is obviously project to task. Uh, so all your tasks will go within your project and you can assign different custom fields within the project as well. Different ways to indicate the progress of it. So a progress indicator will show a percentage of it that is done. And you can add several different columns as within Trello if you're familiar to the project itself. Uh, I'll show you again that a little bit later on in this video. Uh, another great thing that you can do with the projects is invite the actual uh, contributors on. So if you have a client and you want to build out a specific project for them, you can invite that specific client to that specific project uh, and then they can view every single task within that project to make sure that it's getting done and that you are making progress on their work. Moving down here to invoices, this is what really sets Plutio apart is their ability to create things like invoices, proposals, and contracts. Within all of them, they do offer subscriptions uh, as well as drag and drop fields. So they're very easy to create. Uh, you can play around with it when you go into the dashboard. Uh, most things that you would need on an invoice, they will have. Jumping down here to proposals, again, they have a very easy to use drag and drop interface. Uh, you can easily replicate any proposals that you currently have in place, whether it's just a hard copy or another electronic file. Uh, and it is very easy to uh, customize however you want it, uh, drag and drop blocks. Uh, and then again, you can get electronic signatures through here as well. So all your bookkeeping needs uh, can be 
within this platform as well. Moving down here to contracts, uh, a lot of the same things as the proposals. Electronic signatures, you can have multiple people sign it. Uh, it's a block-based editor, so uh, very, very simple. And then you can download them when you are done. And then this is a really cool feature. Uh, the CDRM aspect of Cludio, uh, you can develop comprehensive profiles of the different people moving through your business, as well as profile notes, uh, activities, company profiles, you name it. It's all right here. Uh, and again, this is within um, Plutio and the basic package. Just a couple more features here that Plutio offers. Uh, they do offer an inbox so you can send direct messages through the system uh, to your collaborators, whether they be team members or clients. And it does sync up with your email. So if you do have a Gmail, Outlook, whatever you guys use, uh, it will sync up with that so that you can see all of that within the software as well. Another thing they offer is the wiki, which is really cool. Uh, it can act as a place to put your standard operating procedures. You do have a private wiki and a public wiki, so if you have stuff that only you and your team members should see, you can keep it in the private wiki, as well as having a public wiki for your clients. Uh, it's just another great way to add value. So anything that they need to know about you and your company, you can keep within here as well. Uh, moving down here, let me just move my face a little bit. So we do have the calendar, and again, this does integrate with Google Calendar, so you can sync up your calendar to this calendar, so that when you add new tasks, new events, uh, they pop up both in the Clubio calendar and then also on your Google Calendar as well. If there is something that you need, uh, there are there is a public API, so you can integrate with some other third-party apps. I know that there is still some stuff missing there, and we have talked with support about some things that we wanted to integrate, but they haven't been able to. It's not perfect. They still have some improvements that they can make as they are a developing SaaS company. But in terms of its ease of use and everything being all in one dashboard, it is a very, very powerful tool for your business. In terms of pricing, they have three very easy options to understand. Uh, they have the solo package at $15 a month, which gives you access to all the features that I just talked about, um, except for the fact that you can't invite clients into the portal or contributors. Uh, the studio version is $20 a month, and that allows you to invite clients into the portal. So again, if you're working with clients, this is the option that you'd want to select. Uh, and then for those people that are working with you know, two or more people on a small team, uh, the team version, only $30 a month, is very affordable and allows you to invite other team members in, uh, as well as access to all the other features and inviting clients in as well. Since seeing an example is always better than an explanation, uh, I did create a free trial account here for you guys. Uh, Plutio does offer a 14-day free trial with no credit card required, so you can see if it is right for you by just going in, uh, setting everything up, and then if you like it, uh, you can stay past that 14 days, and if not, uh, no harm, no foul. Uh, so this is what the back of the software looks like. Uh, over here, you'll see your workspace. So my workspace is at Home Marketer. And then within that is all the different features that you can utilize, including the tasks, projects, invoices, proposals, contracts, uh, your team members. So people will be both clients and team members, uh, your calendar, inbox, wiki, timesheets, etc. So as you can see, I've already created a test task here uh, under the task bar. Uh, you can go up here to create task and just type in new task for whatever your task title will be. And then just go down here to create task and it will show up down here with your list of tasks. Uh, from there, you can actually go in and customize it. You can do this when you're creating the task as well. But again, uh, you can add a description. So anything you want to type, type about the task, put it in there. Uh, custom field. Again, you can have certain custom fields. I believe they operate as tags. So if you have different tags that you want to put for each different task, this would be where you do it. Start and end date, super powerful, and I will actually demonstrate this as well because this will show up on your calendar. So you put your start date when you are starting the task as well as the due date, uh, and then that will show up on your calendar. Uh, this is also where you can delegate it. So any members of your team, this would be where you would assign them to the task. And then you can put comments as well. Comments and description are very similar. Um, you can put attachments and then as well as timesheets. Um, and then this is where you would actually start the timer for if you're tracking your time on the specific task. 
Uh, and then the biggest thing that the biggest downside I would say with Plutio is actually how you incorporate a task to a project. So you can move a task to a project, but the way you would do it is you would go up here in the top right corner and you would go over here and click move. Uh, then you would see all the different projects. Uh, if you've used Trello, this probably looks similar. It's so, um, a similar layout. So I have a test project that I would incorporate it with. And then the board on the test project would just be the task board. Uh, group, I don't have any groups currently laid out, uh, and then position. So this would be where in the board it would show up. Uh, right now, since there's nothing else on the board, it will automatically be position one. So I'll move this task. And an ID is required. So I will need to actually go in and create that on the project itself. Uh, so that would be how you would do it if you have all those things filled out. Uh, I do not currently, so I'll just leave it as is. Uh, but I will show you where that would show up on the project. So once you moved it, you would go over here to your actual project that you sent it to. You would come in here and you would see that the task is within the board uh, under here. And then this is where you can organize stuff for your specific project. Uh, again, depending how you, you want to lay it out, you can use a project for a client. Or if you have one client with several projects, you can lay them all out here individually. Uh, moving over here to the calendar. Uh, again, you can see that the task was put on the calendar. Uh, this happens when you do the start and end date. So you want to add those to the task that you want to organize on the calendar. Uh, and then this will really fill up as you integrate more tasks. So those are the really basics of the task management software and the project management software. Uh, that would be essentially the main use for Plutio. But again, as I mentioned, it does offer all these other things such as invoices, proposals, contracts. Uh, I'll just jump in here real quick to kind of show you what it looks like. I could spend hours playing around with this, so I'm not going to go too into detail, but I do want to show you just what it looks like so that you can see that it is easy to use uh, and that you can start incorporating this right away. Uh, again, you create the invoice. Uh, it has the different aspects to an invoice right here. You can customize all of this stuff, different items that you want on the invoice, uh, whether or not it is taxed, uh, as well as whether it is recurring. Uh, and then you can create more by just going here and adding uh, either an item, a task, a term, image, content, you name it. Uh, play around with these blocks. I'm not familiar with all of them, but I just know that you can create a full drawn out invoice uh, as well as these proposals and contracts. So again, uh, the interface here looks very similar. I do actually have a test proposal right here. Uh, so there are a few more sections, including title, but again, when you go down here to the add button, it will offer you a lot of the same different content blocks. So whatever you need within your proposal, you can put in here. Um, when you are done and you need a signature, uh, you can add a signature line here and this is where it would be incorporated. Uh, and again, for contracts, um, you know, very, very similar layout to the last two. So you would go in here and add the different blocks that you would need. Uh, when you actually have a finished contract, you would go over here and set your status from draft to either pending. Um, pending is if you are still waiting on a signature. And then you can actually come up here to get the link to your contract proposal or invoice, uh, copy it, send it over to the client, uh, and then go from there. Uh, so the last couple things in here were the inbox. So this is the inbox. Uh, I already showed you the calendar. Um, this would be where all your messages are and then the wiki itself uh, again nothing crazy but you can go in here and create a new um, you know wiki article I guess it would be what it was called uh, and then have different sub articles within it again just a great place to organize all your company's information uh, any documents that your team members need to refer to or any documents that your clients need to refer to uh, you can put them in here within the wiki Finally, uh, timesheets. So this would be down here. Uh, and again, you most of the time have to manually upload these. Uh, and as you can see, uh, you can attach them to the task as well. So this would be where you create a time tracking sheet. Uh, and these are the different segments. Again, you can have billable hours as well as your rate. So this would be where you put all that information. So that is everything that Plutio has to offer. As you can see, it is so much more than just a project management software. It becomes this all-in-one solution for your small business. 
um, as well as offering the capability of managing your projects and organizing your tasks. So if that is what you're using it for, it is a great solution. Uh, but if you want to start utilizing these other features as well, uh, it is very cost effective as opposed to going out and getting you know, a CRM tool, a contract tool, a task management tool. Uh, this is all of those things all in one. Um, so if you want to give it a try, they do have a 14-day free trial, which I will link down below in the description. Uh, if you have any questions on anything that I covered or any capabilities that you're wondering if Clidio is capable of, uh, feel free to drop those in the comments, and I will go in and answer those questions as they come up. Uh, and if you don't mind standard YouTube stuff, if you could give this video a like and a subscribe, uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, I just want to bring you as much value as possible with these videos uh, and show you different softwares that you can utilize in your business. Till next time.